Hey, I'm Jeff from Home Renovation DIY. Thanks for joining us today. In our video, we are talking about renovation hacks. Yeah, that's right. One of my favorite hacks out there. Listen, when you renovate your own house, if you want to follow all the rules, sometimes you run into situations where it's just not possible. Like in, in most renovation projects, you're going to run into something sooner or later when you're trying to modify an existing space where you're just not going to be able to be code compliant. And so when you're renovating your own house, it's a no brainer, right? It's your own house. You do what you want. You can break the rules. You can break code. As long as you disclose that you've done things a little creatively when you go to sell your house, there's no liability. There's no issue. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite hacks because when you're doing islands and you're putting the plumbing in the island, you really run into areas where you might have difficulty with proper venting and venting is really described as this. You have water goes down a drain and when that water travels, it creates a vacuum in behind it. And so you have to have fresh air following the water. If you don't have fresh air, which is venting, then you're going to run into problems and you get that gurgling effect. So if you fill your sink and you pull the drain, it just gurgles, gurgles, and the water goes really slow. When water's traveling really slow, any debris or solids get trapped in the pipe. And then you run into blockage and all kinds of other issues. The one way that you can solve this problem is if you don't have access to connect the vent to the vent system of the house. And in this house, it's an 1880, so it's almost a no-brainer. I've got trees holding up the house in the basement. Running piping underneath all of that and around the, all those other obstacles is just not an issue. You can use one of these. Now this little gizmo here, it's an inline vent. And, and the idea here is that it's spring-loaded. So when a vacuum is created in the pipe, it opens up and lets air travel in. And when the vacuum is gone, it shuts up again so that it keeps the sewer gases from coming into the house. Nice and simple. So what you want to do with this is you want to install this after the P-trap, okay, and higher than your fixture. That's it. So somewhere along this house, you've got to have a pipe that travels up a wall. I'm going to do the cheat by traveling mine up inside my pantry. And I'm going to have a little bit of a grate on the top of the wall where this vent is going to stick, okay? Because the idea is as long as this is higher than the sink, it'll never plug. And then you're code compliant again. So here's a little trick for you. If you don't have access to fresh air from outside for your venting system, you can create a venting system inside the house as long as you have it high enough and you have access to it so that you can change it. Because sooner or later, something like this is going to malfunction. And you'll know because your sink will start making funny noises again. If that happens, open up the vent, switch one of these out, they're about 30 bucks where I live. Hopefully where you live, it's a little bit cheaper. And that problem is solved. Now in my situation in this crazy basement, I'm gonna be bringing my laundry sink and connecting it to my Santa Flow macerator. So in this case, this valve needs to be installed higher than the laundry sink, which is easy, because it can just go right here near the ceiling. Now, if you have a house that's an 1880 farmhouse with trees like this as a foundation, then you'd appreciate why these things are so valuable. There we go, we just put Teflon tape on it and thread it right into the connection. And we're good to go. All I gotta do is pipe it all back into the Santa Flow. Speaking of creative plumbing, here's my Santa Flow macerator. This is an awesome Santa Cube 2. This is an amazing machine because what it does is it allows me to bring all the plumbing from the whole house, no matter what's going on, dump it into here. Wow, now look at that, it's working. <laughs> so basically what you just heard was the blender going on and it shoots it up through this check valve right out to my septic tank. And over here, this is the fresh air intake. But it is so far from where we're going and it has got to be dedicated just to this machine that I can't add anything else to this line. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut here. I'm going to run a line straight over to where I'm going to put my new laundry sink. We're just going to tie right in with the TY. Good as gold. I can add on to this system all day long as long as I can use that little trick to add some fresh air to the fixtures. And that is money in the bank. And if you want to see the video on how we installed this, because I did this myself, the control panel, the electrics, the plumbing, the venting, it's all in that video. You can click the link up here. We'll put the card up there, and we'll also put the video in the description down below. Now, listen, if that kind of information helps you out and solves your problem, then give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. And then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we come up with a video that's going to save your bacon and give you great ideas to solve problems. Listen, if you like this kind of information, then click the link right here. We're going to take you to a video that shows you the entire kitchen build. You're going to love it. We're going to see you in the next video.